Hello everybody, this is Avi Abel here from the Holy Land of Israel. Thanks for coming and watching and watching the replay. We are here, you are about to be in for real training from IDF soldiers. Here we are all reserve soldiers. I'll just say a quick hi. This is me, Avi Abel here, a reserve soldier in the Israeli army. And uh, thanks for joining. Here you go. Hello, New Zealand. But what you are about to see, it's going to about to get loud, folks. Because this is the truth about the IDF. We are soldiers. We are, we are trained to protect. We're trained to protect uh, the Jewish state. We're trained to protect Israelis. We're trained to protect all civilians. And you're about to see training. Hello, hello, Cape Port 2013. Even though we're trained with real guns and we're trained to use our real guns when necessary, we are also trained to use... Um, what's it called, uh, uh, dem mass demonstration uh, uh, weapons that are not deadly but used in order to, to, to protect. Hello, hello, you want to visit Israel, awesome. We are, that are used to protect civilians. Anyone familiar with the news? Unfortunately, Palestinian Arabs uh, throw bombs. They have mass demonstrations, they throw rocks at civilians, they throw rocks at soldiers, uh, they, use, uh, they use lasers in our eyes when we're driving in the roads at night, they use constant, they use lots of things. Hello San Francisco, what's the time? Good question. It's around 9.30 a.m. here in Israel. So they, and they have a lot of demonstrations where tens and hundreds of them are throwing rocks at us. And so here, yep, this is the truth. So here, thank you, Israel loves the American people as well. Thank you so much. Like high pressure water, exactly. So here you're about to see different weapons that we're being trained to use in situations where we don't want to kill, we don't want to use our weapons to kill, but we use other weapons to disperse the demonstrations and stop them from using violence against us. So here you go. Ready? Be loud. These are... Those didn't look so good. Those were those were gas. These are gas. Uh, you, you see all the you see all the the gas fumes that come out of it. So these are gas that that smells, so that when we shoot it into dem near demonstrators, so the demonstrators run away. That's why sometimes when you see footage of demonstrations. And you see them with with uh, stuff over their faces in order to protect themselves from uh, from the gas, but it is something that is successful in uh, in in making demonstrators run away. What do you guys eat out in the field? Someone's cursing. You are out of here. We're not here to to curse and bring hatred. Sorry, guy. So right now, here you're just seeing these soldiers right now one by one are training to use these special weapons in order for us to stop the uh, the Arabs from uh, from mass demonstrations and throwing rocks and trying to hurt civilians and trying to hurt Israeli soldiers. All we're trying to do is trying to protect. We want everyone to be safe. We want Jews to be safe. We want Arabs to be safe. That's all we want. We want to be able to live in peace. Here, you see. <laughs> Sahel, right. So this is just to show you like how moral the Israeli army is. We do our best. We really do our best. And sometimes Israeli soldiers are very frustrated, but we do our best not to shoot and to use other and to do I need permission to broadcast. Well, I'm, per, I'm broadcasting and the officers are all around me. Um, we do our best to protect uh, civilians. I mean, anyone who heard my last scope, I was telling you how just last night we had two hours, two hour session learning the rules of engagement when we are allowed to shoot, when we're not allowed to shoot, because the Israeli army is very strict. We only shoot when we have to shoot, um, and we try our best to protect all civilians, to protect Israeli civilians, to protect the Arabs who are protesting. We don't want to harm unless we have to harm, and sometimes we have to harm. And if they use violence against us, when we, then we will harm them because they are asking for it, because they're using violence. 
There are a lot of Arabs living peacefully in Israel. You're protecting them too. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. We protect all Israelis, whether Jews, Christians, Muslims, any Muslim Arab who is smart enough to know that Israel is the only country in the Middle East where he lives in peace, where he has full equal rights, full human rights. We protect them as well. And we also protect the Arab civilians even when they cause us damage. We only want to hurt the ones who are actually doing the violence and not hurt others. Frank or Israel from South Africa. Thank you so much. Yeah, but hold, hold off on the, on the here, okay, folks? I like using clean language. Something to tell you a little bit about Judaism. Judaism believes that the mouth, the one thing that differentiates human beings from animals is we have the ability to speak. Therefore, it's something holy. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm a religious person. This is from my religious Jewish upbringing. The words that we speak has holiness to it. God gave us this ability to speak, and therefore we should be thankful of this of this special quality we have as human beings, and watch ourselves when we talk, and watch how we speak, and use our use our mouths wisely. Use our mouths using good words and not bad words and not curse words. So if you could respect me by just on my scope at least, not using curse words and using respectful words, I'd appreciate that. Ma? <laughs> the tongue is the power of life in the 100%. IRA and Palestine have oppression in common. No, first of all, uh, again, Palestine is a, is a name created by the Romans. The first Palestinians were Jews because it was the Ro it was Jews living here. In here you go. You can see all this. Words we speak carry power 100%. Do you have to be Jewish and religious to serve in the IDF? <laughs> no. There are Christians and Muslims who serve in the IDF. There are plenty of Jews who are not religious who serve in the IDF. Why don't you recognize Palestine as land so they cannot get... Um, if you listen, look at history, the Jews have always been willing to live in peace with the Arabs who live amongst us uh, since the beginning of the 20th century. But yet it's always been the Muslims who've used violence and said no to every single peace deal. So this is our homeland, guys. For 3,000 years, this is the Jewish homeland. IDF created Viber. What do you think about the conflict between Lebanon and Israel? So, um, so in terms of uh, the, the Arabs could have had their state back in the 1920s, they could have had a state in the 1940s, they could have had a state in the 1970s, in, in 1990s, 2000, they always say no, they just use violence because they really only want to destroy Israel, they don't want their own state. But any Arabs who are smart, no, the solution, the solution, well, Two to have a solution, right? You need two to tango, as they say. So if Israel's the only one who wants peace, and it's the Muslim Arabs who always use violence to kill us and destroy the state of Israel, then the only solution is them learning that they're never going to destroy us. And we will live in peace when they finally learn to put down their weapons. Uh, weapon, no clue what that is. Is that the IDF? Yes, this is the IDF. Pray for Israel. Thank you so much. Someone who is cursing and saying, say, so you're, you're gone. No hate here. If you are, there are two dumb people who want to start with what destroy. Uh, I don't get what you're trying to say. Looks very, yeah, it's really, really beautiful. Uh, yes, live here. They have no harm. Guys, let me, let me tell you what the David and Goliath going on here. The Arab Muslim world has been trying to destroy Israel for over 100 years. Go back to the 1948 war. There were no Palestinians. The Palestinians were fake people created in the 1960s. There are Arabs who live here. The war was, was started by Jordan, by Syria, by Iraq, by Egypt. The whole Arab world has been at war with Israel. Today, those Arab countries who now there's now war within the Arabs between the between the Sunnis and the, and the Shiites. They're killing each other now. Saudi Arabia and Iran are going are stopping diplomatic relations. Guys, the real war taking place, the real violence is between <laughs> Muslims and Muslims. And little by little, Muslim countries are learning that Israel is the good guys. So. The world has to stop looking at Israel as the bad guy, because we're the good guys here. We're the only nation of light here in the Middle East, in a sea of hate and violence by radical Muslim, by radical Islams. So thank God there is an Israel for the world and for those Muslim countries that want to live in peace moving forward. So um, that's the truth, folks. Follow me for the truth. At Avier below here on Periscope, on Twitter. Go to IsraelVideoNetwork.com, my website. Yeah, I'll let you see behind me of all the shooting going on, all the practicing going on. But that is the truth. Any country that doesn't want radical Islam to come to them, support Israel. Any country that wants to help the Muslim Arab world, 
support Israel, right? Saudi Arabia secretly wants Israel's help against Iran. That's, that's the truth, folks. Refugees already causing... Yes, correct. Uh, nation of lights. Yes. So this is beautiful, folks. Just enjoy. Anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about. Here. They have no army. How can they attack Israel? Israel's too powerful. Don't spread phobia. Phobia? Who is this? Ordinary dude. You're the one spreading the phobia. I keep on telling what ISIS, the world shouldn't be afraid of ISIS. The, one should, the world shouldn't be afraid of the spreading radical Muslim jihad that's going everywhere and the mass epidemic of rape by Muslim immigrants in Europe and that's going to come to America. Deal with the truth. You can't really help make the world a better place, not by ignoring the truth, but by dealing with the truth. Okay? Um, they will not last. We are the new breed. I didn't hear that. Any case, so what's what's going on here? I'm a reserve soldier, guys. Here in Israel, we are with conscript, conscription service at the age of 18. We all go to the army. We don't want to go to the army. We all want to have fun. We all want to have lives. We all want to enjoy. We all want to raise families, go to college, work. We don't want to go to the army. I'm 42 years old. Why are you stealing Palestine land? Because it's not their land. Because it's our land. This has been Jewish land. This is the third Jewish commonwealth for over 3,000 years. That's why. Um, so, but... We come and serve because we have to protect ourselves. We want to make sure that the Arabs and Jews and Christians all live safely in peace. And we can only do that if we have an army to protect ourselves from the violence of those using violence and terrorism against us. No, I'm a Jew. Do a 360 view, you're on it. America, you're 100%. Here's a 360, folks. They are the ones who let you have your lands now. No, we are the ones. A lot of people I know are sick of the bullshit in the Middle East. Yeah, and the bullshit of the Middle East they are the lies from the anti-Israel people. Iran is all the worst evil guy. No, Israel is one of the lights of passion in the world. You practice Judaism, yes. There are one percent, maybe not even, the only thing from the middle of nowhere. But, yeah, okay, goodbye, no, no, no hatred, no, no cursing, you're not here. Do you know the Turkish army? No, but a lot of the weapons in the Turkish army were bought from Israel. Is Israel's country there? Is no correct? Can Americans serve? Yeah, I mean, I was born in Hello Seattle. They lived there for three thousand years. Okay, that's right. Yeah, li the Jews have lived here for over three thousand years. The Jewish people developed here in this country. No, Israel has Christians and Muslims who serve in the IDF. Anyone who understands that Israel is a country protecting free rights, protecting human rights for all. Hello, Texas. Well, also, they serve in the Israeli army because they understand that the Israeli army protects them. Do you imagine the, the, the Muslims who live in Israel are safe? Muslims who live in Lebanon aren't safe. Muslims who live in Syria are not safe. In Iraq, in Iran, they don't have free rights. They don't have equal rights. Here they do. Any Muslim Arab... Do you think this army will end this? This army, by, the Israeli army, by being strong, will protect Israel, and little by little, the Muslim Arab countries will learn to stop fighting us and learn to live in peace with us. You just joined. Where are you obligated to join, join the IDF? Every Israeli citizen is obligated to join either either the Israeli army or to do civil service, to, to give some type of service to the country, to the people, volunteering in a hospital, volunteering in a school. Most men serve in the Israeli army. I'm annoying. You don't have to be here if I'm annoying. You can go. Israel is awesome. There's a disc golf course down there. I love from the USA. Someone was asking. Someone was asking what I was doing. Someone was asking what I'm doing, and here we are, Israeli soldiers on reserve duty. We all have families. We all have jobs. Yet we leave it all in order to, in order to do our annual reserve duty to protect our country and our land and our people and our freedoms. Because if we do not have an Israeli army, then ISIS and Hezbollah and other radical Muslim terror organizations across the Middle East would also bring their terrorism here and kill anyone who they want. Oh, here we go. Check it out. Faisal, some point, you can go up here. See, I don't want to kill you, but then you tell me that you want to kill me. That's a problem. So here again, we are training using non-lethal weapons because we don't want to use lethal weapons. We only use lethal weapons if 
the Muslims who try to kill us force us to use our lethal weapons. Otherwise, we also train in non-lethal weapons. That's because we don't want to hurt anyone who doesn't deserve to be hurt. It's that simple, folks. So here you go. Here we're Israeli soldiers. We're reserve duty. These are guys. I left my job. My wife is home with my four children. I work in Jerusalem. There are people here from the north, from the south. They all left their jobs. They left their wives. They left their children to come here for a month and do their annual reserve duty to protect the people, to protect their country. And again, right now, I see you to take a sign on this. Jesus was Jewish, 100%. That's correct. Jesus was a Jew. Um, so again, we are training in non-lethal weapons because we do not want, want to hurt or kill anybody unnecessarily. When they use violence against us and they force us to shoot, we will shoot. But if there are situations that we don't have to use live weapons or lethal weapons, we will use other weapons. So this is the type of ammunition we use in trying to get rid of demonstrations. How long is one obligated to serve the IDF? You protect something that is not yours. No, this is our lands, and any Arab Muslim who wants to live in peace with us can. I have seen Israel command as the best training soldier in the world, 100%. Why well, ISIS is not defeated yet? Because the world has not decided to defeat it. That's the problem. No, nope, this is the Israeli army, folks. This is Israel. This is the IDF. You are here in Israel with me. Defend your land 100%. Who are the 12 tribes? The 12 tribes are the 12 tribes of the Jewish people from the Bible. Hey, you guys occupy that? No, it's our land. Jewish land. King David started the first Jewish commonwealth over 3,000 years ago, folks. This has been the Jewish land for over 3,000 years. Yeah, again, the Palestinian nation was only created in the 1960s. They didn't exist beforehand. They were just Arabs who lived in the area. Back in the beginning of the, 19th, the 20th century, 1920s, everyone called Palestinian was a Jew because everyone knows this is the Jewish land. Correct, and Solomon had that, exactly. So we want to live in peace with the Arabs who live with us, but they use terror and violence against us, and they say horrible things about us to the world. They say horrible lies. They use violence to kill us every day. There are stabbings against us, suicide bombs against us. So we have to protect ourselves against that. Hi from America. Where have you been since 3,000 years? Life building is definitely illegal. Well, this is, we're using this in order to show the truth about the Jewish people and the Israeli army. Think of intelligent questions, people. Listen to Avi. Thank you so much, Cape Year 2013. National is always the reason for war. Look what you are saying, my land. No, and by the way, if you're listening to me correctly, we're not about nationalism. This is our homeland. The Jews are the indigenous people to this land. We were here over 3,000 years ago. Jews have been here forever, never left. Unfortunately, we're one of the most persecuted peoples in the world, but yet we are still all around. And we were in exile for thousands of years, and finally we are now all returning. And once again, we are sovereign in our own homeland. Truth in the news, blah, blah, blah. You, you, there we go. Give one example of violence instead of violence. Yes, but if you do not have an army to protect yourself, then you will be destroyed. It's that simple. Israel always be the Jews' land, God bless. ISIS isn't fighting Jews. No, but ISIS is, there's, ISIS is only afraid of one army, and that's the Israeli army. They're not afraid of any other army in the world. I just came out saying that to a German journalist a week or two ago. If you do, if you Google the news about ISIS and German journalists. So again, everyone who's just joined, this is, let me say hi. Well, I am. This is Avi Abelo here in Israel. I'm a reserve soldier here in the Israeli army. Um, I work in Tel Aviv. I work in social media, internet marketing. ISIS better be afraid of the... Yeah, but they're not. <laughs> uh, just invited followers. Thanks so much, Lev. Alex, hello. Alex Bars. So again, just telling you all this is, I work in Jerusalem. I have a wife. I have four children. Yet in Israel, all Israelis who served in the IDF, we do reserve duty once a year. We leave our wives. We leave our children. We leave our jobs in order to do our annual service to protect the nation of Israel. And the nation of Israel and the land of Israel, we have Israeli citizens who are not just Jews. We have Muslims, we have Christians, we have Israeli citizens of all kinds of race, religiosities, ethnicities. We protect all of them. And the Israeli army even has non-Jews. We have Christians and Muslims who, who serve in the Israeli army with us. You think all Muslims are terrorists? Iman, or if you'd listen to what I'm saying, you'd know that what you're saying is totally off. Uh, no, most terrorism in the world comes 
is done in the name of Islam by Muslims, but not Muslim. all Muslims are terrorists. There are Muslims who serve in the Israeli army. Any Muslim who's a smart Muslim knows that the only country in the Middle East where he has full human rights and equal rights is in Israel as an Israeli citizen. That is the truth. Um, so any Muslim who's smart is a loyal, dedicated Israeli citizen in order to enjoy the only freedom he has in any country in the Middle East. It's in the Jewish country. Praying for Israel. IDF is good, but you guys have not done near as much against ISIS as we have, because Israel is not in getting involved in that fight unless, we, unless they force us to. And that's a whole different scope for another time. Do you respect any no clue? Is there a lot of work in Jerusalem? I would move to come help the cause. There is definitely work in Jerusalem. Follow me on Twitter, send me a direct message, let me know what you're involved in. You guys remember, I'm Ashto. Just don't discount us, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Please, hugs from Mexico. Thank you so much. Show ID of training. <laughs> 100%. We were just training here. You could see we're training using non-lethal weapons. Again, I'm trying to show you the disproving the lies that Israel uh, is an immoral army. If it's not, we're one of the most moral armies in the world. We try our best to not use lethal weapons unless we have to, to not shoot unless we have to, and we train in non-lethal weapons to use in situations in order to protect the lives of I wouldn't say innocence because the Arabs who are throwing rocks to kill are not innocent, but in situations when we can't, don't have to injure them or kill them, we use non-lethal weapons. So this is it, folks. This is the beauty of Israel. There you'll see the beauty of Israel. Here we're on a training ground. We are all reserve soldiers. And if you're not following me yet, Follow me on Periscope this whole month. I'm in reserve duty. You get to see the truth, what it's like to live as an Israeli soldier, what we do. Right now we're training. Trust me, I've seen more blood than most, and that's not fair. I have dedicated my life to find. Okay. A nice day for you. God is for Israel. So I'm Hey, Harry, nice to see you again. Hope you had fun. Thanks so much, folks. So I'm going to be going, folks. I got to get back to. I got to get back. Uh, American people support Israel. The Obama administration supports Israel with funding for projects, but it has not been so supportive, unfortunately. I'm going to go, guys. Hey, I'm going to say for you to be scoping. Try to solve the problems. They throw rocks because maybe you killed their ancestors. No, they've been killing us. America, Mr. President, thank you for right. You're welcome, guys. I'm just here to try to show you the truth, try to show you the real, the real deal, what it's like. Um, follow me on Periscope at Aviablo. Follow me on Twitter at Aviablo. Go to my website, IsraelVideoNetwork.com, to be inspired by Israel and see videos. And thank you so much, Toronto. Adios. Not a long, not long enough. More, please. <laughs> you got it. They're signing people. Here we go. More stuff. There we go. This is the real deal, folks. Love Israel. Love you too, folks. All right, I'm going to be out of here. Shalom, shalom from the Holy Land of Israel. And again, I'm all about we can bring peace to the world. Let's make this world a better place by sharing the truth, not ignoring the truth, not ignoring the evil. There is evil out there today. There is violence out there today. And again, if Arabs put down their weapons, there would be peace in a second. If Jews put down our weapons, we would be slaughtered and destroyed. That's why we have the Israeli army. That's why me and my friends leave our wives and our children and our work in order to come out and do reserve duty in order to protect the freedoms of all Israeli citizens, Jews, Muslims, and Christians, and to protect our children so that our children have freedoms.